You know you're in trouble when your stress is increasing, you're feeling overloaded, actually resentment is kicking in, resentment towards the team, and your happiness is all but gone. Practices like this, when they're feeling these kind of emotions, go into a stall phase. The growth stalls, your self-growth stalls. How did you get here? I'm going to tell you how. It's because you're so good. So how does that make sense? You're so good at what you do. More keeps adding to your plate. More is expected of you. But here's the secret. There's a capacity to how much you can physically do yourself. There are only so many patients you can see, only so many team members that you can work with. What happens is you hit your limit, you hit your capacity. Now, how others do it, business owners, is they learn two very, very important skill sets. It's eliminating and delegating. I challenge you to take a few minutes and do an assessment, an honest assessment. Literally pay attention to everything you are touching in the practice. What's taking your time? Do a time study. Once you have a clear grasp of tasks versus accountabilities that you're working on, chart it out. Put a little graph, pretty simple. I want you to list things that you thrive at. Things, if you are the dentist, dentistry is where we want to keep you. The other team members cannot do what you do. This is where you get happiness. This is where you feel meaningful. List other tasks that you're excellent at. Then you can put tasks down here that you're good at, you're okay, you can get it done. And then the things that you totally stink, just stink. For instance, maybe you're not getting any of your statements balanced. You haven't touched QuickBooks since the spring. Or you find that you're working on practice um, reports and a day sheets. Stop, stop for a second. Could this be why you're feeling so much stress? Are you spending the bulk of your time down here in non-productive tasks that could be outsourced? Take a look at what you're doing. Keep yourself up in this area. I bet that you have someone on your team with strengths that are faster and can find a better way to take these tasks off your plate. So each time you go to touch something, ask yourself, is this going to make me feel good? that I've been productive when I leave for the day, or is this keeping me so busy I'm not getting to the tasks that actually matter? My name is Shelly Renee. This is what I do. I want to get you the peaceful, productive, and profitable practice. Reach out and we'll do an assessment. Mm -hmm.